don't think so. Um, the way the Westerners played today, you would have hoped that they would have won after getting just over 300 runs. But in general, throughout the entire day, you wouldn't say that they looked like a confident, superior team to Ireland. And I doubt whether they'll be able to bounce back from this. I just toured with them to South Africa. They won one of the, the ODIs in South Africa. You thought, okay, that will lift their spirits. That will make them play a little bit better cricket. But then they lost immediately after that. The next one they played. And again, coming to the World Cup, you'd have thought, okay, we are not playing very good cricket. Now, this is the team talking to themselves. They would have said, well, we are not playing very good cricket, but we are playing against one of the so-called middle you know, of the first game of the tournament. Let us go out there. Let us show how superior we are to the so-called middle. You know, let us win this game and see if we can turn and things around against the team that are ranked higher than us. But the performance today was a little bit pathetic, to be honest. Not at all. I, I have been saying since this World Cup started that 300 on a good pitch here in New Zealand or in Australia is just a par score, irrespective of who you're playing against. You need to be getting 300 and then moving very well. If you're not going to be bowling very well. You need to be getting 350, 360 to be competitive in this World Cup. And the West Indies, I do not understand how they could ever think that oh, just over 300 runs that they would just automatically win. They have seen this Ireland team bat in the past. They have seen the O'Brien brothers. They have seen Ed Joyce. They have seen these guys bat and get big scores. They have chased down scores against England, for instance, in the last World Cup. They beat... Pakistan in the Caribbean in 2007, you cannot take things for granted. You should be able to think to yourself, okay, we got a reasonable score, but we still have a fight on our hands and we have to go out there and perform. Definitely. And it's about time they get recognition for what they are doing. If they continue to just linger around and slum around in in the lower regions of of world cricket, they will continue to lose good, good cricketers. When Morgan left Ireland to go and play for England because he saw brighter prospects. England are a test-playing nation. England are a world-renowned team. Ireland need to be recognised now. They are playing good cricket and it's about that they get the recognition so that they don't keep on losing cricketers. I should certainly think so. I think they'll beat they'll be Zimbabwe. Mm. Um, whether they'll beat one of the higher-ranked teams, I'm not too sure. But at the moment, all they have got to do is make sure that they beat another team. And I would think they have an outstanding chance of going on to the quarterfinals.